What kind of Kaizen or improvement is the Mauditori Kaizen? First, we classify the work into network and non-network. Network, in short, means work with added value. It is the core business in which directly provides values to customers, large-scale supportive work that could directly affect the quality, cost, and delivery date of the actual business, and work related to legal compliance and sociality. There for example, assembling work at a processing site, in a view to customers as part of sales activities, drafting proposals, product planning, designing, evaluation, support desk, making contracts, signing contracts, billing, and ping. The non-network, in brief means work that has no added value. It includes communication required for the operation of the organization, monitoring, managerial work, auxiliary work and follow-up work caused by poor or improper management, and other habitual work. There are for instance, actions to pick up parts, time to look for tools, report session of interview results, meetings to discuss about the proposal, making corrections of proposals and plans, reviewing, modifying the contract, and procedures for excess payment. Let's return to the description. We classify the work into network and non-network. Although mauta or waste exists both in network and non-network, we must prioritize the waste removal in non-network. This is because the non-network is work that has little or no value to the customers. Even if you quit the work, there is low risk that could cause damage to the customers. On the other hand, network provides direct value to customers. If the work is suspended, there is a high risk to cause problems. Therefore, we prioritize the mauta in non-network. In addition, when comparing the proportion of the actual network and non-network in daily labor, more time is spent on non-network. Many cases have shown that productivity improves by 30 to 50 percent just by carrying out mauditory kaizen in non-network. So let's start by improving the non-network. The mauta or waste time framework which has been reduced can be spent for the network. We must increase the proportion of time spent for network in daily labor. Sorting out mauta means to limit the number of workers or time and create a tight work schedule so that the mauta or waste work will be forced to appear. Let's say that there is a work that usually takes 10 hours to be completed. Now, we will set the limit time of this work at 9 hours. By setting a tight restriction, workers will have to change their work style. Setting a limit enables to figure out work that can be omitted, or in other words, reveal the mauta or waste in work. Even when imposing a restriction, you must not degrade the quality and services to your customers. Deciding what the meta is means to evaluate your work from the viewpoint of customer's value, and to determine work that has little or no value so that points that need to be improved will be made clear. First, sort out all the work processes involved in the organization's work. Then, carry out the work and add any work process that was not sorted out in the initial process. Then check the objective of the work that has been picked up. Confirm for what purpose the work process is conducted. If the objective of the work is vague or unclear, that process could be a waste work and could be eliminated. Next, based on the values that you provide to your customers, classify the work process into work with high and low values. It is not easy to actually classify the work process into those with high value and low value. Instead of trying to classify all the work process, start by picking up work that definitely has low value and segregate them from others. Then, determine those work with little or no value as mauta or waste work. Carry out Kaizen so that you can eliminate the mauta. In order to cut off a process, you must reconstruct work process that has low value to the customers, or transfer low value work to other type of work. For example writing a proposal plan is composed of a work process of planning, writing, and checking. You will plan the structure and content of a proposal sheet under your supervisor's instructions. Then, draw up the proposal. Later, you will ask your boss to check it. After examining the work, you have determined that the checking of the proposal has the lowest value for the customer, therefore is a waste or mauta. When breaking down the check process, you figure out that there are two types of checks, the request check to confirm if the content fulfills the supervisor's demand, and the implementation check to see the detailed content. You decide to quit the request check process. 
In order to eliminate the request check, you will have to not just listen to your supervisor's instructions upon planning, but must discuss together the expected output by demonstrating the proposal framework. In short, you will already agree on the framework with your boss. Since the request check on the framework has been done, you can skip the request check process later. This means that the request check process which used to be done in the checking process has been shifted to the planning stage, combined, and restructured, therefore the value has been transferred. Further, the request check, which used to be a process carried out from the supervisor's side, has transformed into an agreement between the subordinate and supervisor, thus value of the planning process has been changed. Reformation of work is not something that can be easily done from right to left. The current work has been built up by a complex blend of the past history, capability of the person in charge, and the role division among the company workers. We must implement Kaizen on each of the work process and rebuild them.